Stacey Farina. All right, judges. <laughs> Michael. Well, the good news is they escape their parents. The bad news is they become their parents. <laughs> uh, does your research show instances of pelagic larvae finally moving back into their parents' basement in the coral <laughs> reef? Well, the absence of basements in the ocean environment <laughs> may prevent this. <laughs> but you're right, they do eventually have to become their parents. I'm curious of whether you've uh, adopted the central scientific paradigm of also carefully examining alternative hypotheses for this admittedly somewhat fishy uh, theory. So, <laughs> for example, have, have you considered the possibility that there could be other reasons for why they might have moved away, such as, you know, maybe child abduction, fish napping, or maybe <laughs> they want a better climate, or maybe, you know, in-state tuition is just so high they might as well move anyway. <laughs> So it might be driven more by the parents rather than the, the needs of the larvae. So rather than um, the um, rather than uh, the parenting being horrifying, raising children may just be so horrifying that the parents can't deal with it. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a few parents over here where that applause started. Hi, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions for what we could do to end this cycle of violence and horror in, in, <laughs> in fish families? Perhaps in reducing cannibalism, maybe. I think that one's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a big one. The family that prays <laughs> together stays together. <laughs> I'd like to ask a personal question. So, are you planning on having children? And if so, which, which strategy do you plan to use? I just hope that they never see this. Stacy Farina. Thanks.